Experimental Study of Hydraulic Jump Stilling Basins Downstream Underflow Gates This video is a project in Advanced Hydraulics course at Irrigation and Hydraulics Department, Faculty of Engineering, Cairo University. Prepared by Ashraf Farag, Mohamed Salah, Basim Mohamed, Mustafa Al Sheikh, supervised by Professor Dr. Ashraf Ghanem, Dr. Yaya Imam. The main objective of creating this experimental study is to study the effect of tail water depth, fruit number, and the distance between the gate and the baffle blocks on the formation of the hydraulic jump over the stilling basin. This laboratory experiments carried out in the shown recirculation self-contained flume, in the hydraulics laboratory of the Irrigation and Hydraulics Department, for the Faculty of Engineering, Cairo University. The flume is 10 meters long, 30 centimeters wide. Has glass sides and aluminum bottom. In addition, the shown fixtures were used in order to act as a stilling basin by fixing them in the bottom of the flume. The apron is 25 cm long and 30 cm wide which is the same width of the flume, and 2.5 cm height above bed. The apron has an end sill of 5 cm height above bed. Each baffle block is, 1 cm by 1 cm, and 3 cm height above apron. The shown electric centrifugal pump, was used to feed water into the flume from an external water tank with discharge up to 30 liter per second. The shown sluice gate, was used to develop different gate openings, making water flowing under the sluice gate is supercritical with fruit number exceeding 1. The shown figure explain the experiments required to be done in order to study the previous mentioned objectives. For experiment number 1, it is required to study the effect of tail water on the effectiveness of the stilling basin. Therefore, the experiment has been done twice, first one in case of no stilling basin and the other one in case of presence of stilling basins by applying gradual change of the tail water depth. For experiment number two, it is required to study the effect of flowing water fruit number on the effectiveness of the stilling basin. Therefore, the experiment has been done with three different fruit numbers as shown, 2, 6, and 10, all of these in the presence of the stilling basins. For experiment number 3, it is required to study the effect of the distance between the gate and the stilling basin blocks on the formation of the hydraulic jump. Therefore, the experiment has been done three times by changing the position of the blocks in each time. For experiment number 1, by applying low tail water depth a repelled jump is formed. In case of flume without stilling basin, we observed that the hydraulic jump is formed far from the gate. On the other hand, in case of flume with stilling basin the hydraulic jump is forced to happen and get formed at the location of the stilling basin. By comparing, it's obvious that the hydraulic jump length in the case of without stilling basin is much longer than with stilling basin. We also notice that, Due to the presence of end sill downstream of stilling basin, another hydraulic jump is formed, due to a drop after the stilling basin, making the flow supercritical again, which then becomes subcritical through a second hydraulic jump. By gradually increasing the tail water depth we end up with a free hydraulic jump at which the hydraulic jump formation starts from the vena contracta. It's well observed from this case that the existence of the stilling basin makes a shorter hydraulic jump length than that of the case of without stilling basin. We find out that the second hydraulic jump we previously discussed about became a submerged hydraulic jump. By gradually increasing the tail water depth again, we end up with a submerged hydraulic jump. It's well observed from this case that the existing stilling basin has no effect on the position of the hydraulic jump, as the hydraulic jump in both cases is formed exactly behind the gate, but the main effect is the hydraulic jump length. The hydraulic jump length in case of existing stilling basin is much less than that case of without stilling basin. For experiment number 2, at constant tail water depth. 
We changed fruit number from 10 to 6 to 2 by changing the gate opening, as we increase the gate opening fruit number decreases. For fruit number equal 10, the hydraulic jump formed is a repelled jump. For fruit number equal 6, the hydraulic jump formed is a free jump. Finally, for fruit number equal 2, the hydraulic jump formed is a submerged jump. It's very obvious that for the same stilling basin of the same arrangement, the efficiency of stilling basins increases with increasing fruit number. As dissipation of energy is higher in repelled and free jumps than that in submerged jumps. Hydraulic jump efficiency, it is the ratio between the energy loss through the jump and the energy of the incoming flow. First, we calculate the energy before and after the hydraulic jump, to calculate the energy loss. Then, we calculate the efficiency by dividing the energy loss by the energy of incoming flow. According to lab measurements we calculated the efficiency of the different cases of experiment number 2. The efficiency of the hydraulic jump for fruit number 2 is 13%, then for fruit number 6 is 46%, and finally for fruit number 10 is 72%. For experiment number 3, for the same gate opening and constant tail water depth. We changed the location of blocks arrangement. Firstly, we arranged the baffle blocks in the third row only, the blocks forced the jump formation at the location of the third row as shown. Then, we rearranged the baffle blocks to be in the second row only, again we found that the blocks forced the jump formation at the location of the second row as shown. Finally, we rearranged the baffle blocks to be in the first row only, we find that the blocks force the jump formation at the location of the first row as shown. We also observed that the hydraulic jump becomes stronger when the distance between the gate and blocks decreases. As you get closer to the gate, fruit number decreases. Finally summarizing the conclusions. 1. As the tail water depth increases, the necessity of having a stilling basin decreases. 2. As fruit number increases, hydraulic jump swiped out from the stilling basin which exhibit the necessity of having a stilling basins. 3. The hydraulic jump formation is forced by the location of blocks. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new.